Hey, this is Jay Jennings. Let's take a look at downloading and installing from a DMG file. It's a disk image file. And for this example, I'm going to use an HP print driver. Now, you could be downloading a, a print driver or some kind of driver for a piece of hardware. You could be downloading an application. It doesn't really matter what it is. If it ends with .dmg, like this one does right here, it's a disk image file. So to download this, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this link. And you can see the download window over here has opened up and it's downloading. I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause and we'll come back when it's finished. All right, we're here on the last second of uh, downloading this file. It has been completely downloaded. Now we need to install it. How do we do that? Where is it actually? Where did it download? Well, it's really easy with Safari. You can go right over here and click this little magnifying glass and it will open up a folder and show you the file that you just downloaded. Let me just take a, a quick sidebar here. Your window may not look exactly like this. Uh, one thing, it may not have the sidebar showing. Okay, If it doesn't, go under the View menu, choose Show Sidebar, and uh, make sure it shows. It, having this show up over on the side here of the window is very, very helpful. The other thing that could happen is up here you can change the view. For example, you can do this. You can do this, or you can actually even have what's called a cover flow view. All right, most of the time, people have it in this icon view. So here is the file that we downloaded, inkjet 106 printmac onedmg First thing to do is just double click it. When you double click a disk image file, it mounts it on your system. It actually acts as a little, a little hard drive. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this window for a second and go back over here. And you can see devices, Macintosh HD. And now here's a new device. And this is the file that we just mounted as a drive. So I'm going to click that. And we've got an installer package. And I'm going to double click that. And now you just follow the instructions here and it will install the driver for you. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I actually don't need this driver. Let me show you one other example of another disk image. All right, here we have cloak and tracker.dmg that says it's a disk image. And it mounts it, opens the window. And once this window opens, you can see that there's no install program here, but there's some instructions. To install, drag the cloak and tracker program to the applications folder. So all I have to do is click on this drag it over and drop it on this folder and it will automatically install for me. Once you've done that you can close the window and then back over here you can see we still have these two disk images mounted. Right over here to the right hand side of each one there is an eject button. Just click that and it will eject it and you're done. You've downloaded and installed from a disk image file.